Well, uh, first of all, I mean, what can you say about your defense? I mean, they kind of carried over what they did in the second half at Army, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, so true. You know, and really the short field is how they got their points. Now they hit a stop, you know, they hit a double move uh, to get it down there close. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, another tremendous performance on their part, yet they are going to get challenges as we go forward, I think especially with the skill and the talent uh, that they'll encounter with Colorado State. I mean, how, how important do you think the start was, getting the three and out, having a long drive, th or not a long drive, but <laughs> long yardage, another three and out, long yardage, just to kind of set that tone? It, it, it certainly helps. Uh, your preference is to play, you know, if you can, to play ahead. And I'll tell you, these guys, New Mexico, they've done a heck of a job. You look at a couple of their games, the lead they took on Utah State, um, the lead they took on Wyoming, I think it was 17 nothing or 14 nothing against Wyoming, too. So we were aware of that. And, uh, and yet our guys, they did a heck of a job. They lifted really, really well this week. I mean, just practiced the physicality that we had in practices and our meetings. They did a good job. And uh, to see David Cormier, you know, an Albuquerque guy, get that touchdown catch against his hometown, you know, does that mean something to you as a coach? Well, it's neat. I mean, just when you've been in their home and, you know, um, Angie, mom's still there. I mean, just great people. And uh, just tell you what especially is cool is just – just seeing the way his confidence has grown. It's because of just how committed and how hard he works. It's, uh, it's fun when you see a guy that's rewarded like that. And then uh, with Brad Roberts, I know, you know, the ongoing story. He went over 3,000 yards today, another top 10 single season. I mean, there's a whole list of things. When did you first kind of realize he might be one of these guys who, who's going to be remembered here for a while? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, you didn't. You know, I think the inexact science are recruiting a little bit. Um, he was a late offer for us as a running back. And uh, yet the game that he had against Navy uh, in 2020, it truly changed the way going forward evaluation wise what we've done with that position. Because for so long, we were looking for just thick, thick guys that were being able to plow forward. And now, um, he's shown us a way, and part of it's what we do offensively, we're, we're just how important running skill is. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Hazik, did he show you a little speed? I know he's, he's had yeah, longer good runs. Top, yeah. yeah, that was good top end. You know, um, he, uh, yeah, that, that, that was really, really impressive top end on both of them. Well, Vince, I'll start with the defense. You know, what, how much pride do you guys take in what you have going right now? Um, we take a whole lot of pride. Um, we pride ourselves on stopping the run. Uh, and that's what we wanted to get out and do first, make them one-dimensional, then uh, get after the quarterback when they try to drop back and pass. And uh, I mean, how much how much easier is it to play defense when you're doing it in such short spurts? You know, so many three and outs and just short series. You know, does that? I know the stats don't look as good, you know, individually, but how much easier is it to defend when you're so fresh? Yeah, it makes it much easier, especially when the offense going on 10, 15 play drives, holding the ball, and then we come out get a three and out. Um, control the clock makes it way easier to play defense. And then the tackles for loss today and then also last week's second half against Army, th those numbers are going up a lot. Is there something about that that's, that's caused that? Um, well, we just, Coach North draws up the game plan. Sometimes we blitz, sometimes we play straight up. Um, backers are just getting back there, making the plays. And, uh, is, there a, is it going to haunt you that you guys gave up the three points and then get the shutout, or are you okay with 35-3? We're just okay with the win. It doesn't matter to us. We're not trying to we, – we would like a shutout, but it doesn't matter. A win is a win. Okay. Uh, Zeke, uh, you know, to start the game like that, you know, did, how nice is that? And uh, were, you, uh, were you happy with the speed you were able to show and outrun a defensive back? Uh, yes, sir. I always give uh, – Brad and a couple other guys, like some stuff about getting caught. And so I just take a little bit of pride in not getting caught. So hopefully it doesn't happen this year. And then um, they were just, you know, I run, um, I run them and it was, a, it was a big hole. You know, the, the offensive line blocked really well and just did my job. And had you talked to Cormier at all coming into the game? I mean, did you kind of understand the significance <clears throat> to him of playing New Mexico? Um, not necessarily. You know, we, we know he's from New Mexico and um, we kind of talk about it, but. It wasn't anything, you know, big and that we made notice of or anything like that. When you did throw to him, you know, and, and have him catch, I mean, did that go through your mind at all, or did you think about that for him? It actually didn't. I was just happy that, you know, we were able to have the touchdown pass and that he caught it and, you know, he was able to score. So I was just, I was more, just more happy that he was able to score and, you know, get that touchdown. But now, that, now looking back on it, you know, I'm happy that he was able to score against, you know, his home, his home state college. And Brad, <laughs> another huge game. 
uh, in the top 10 now again for single season, uh, over 3,000 for your career, another 100 yard block, you know, which of these numbers stands out to you? Like, what do you want to leave here number wise, you know, leaving behind? Um, honestly, the win column, I think, is the biggest thing for me. I mean, we talked about it for the month of November, just winning the month of November. And I want to finish my career on a strong note, and I want to help my team be able to win uh, all of November. And that right now is our goal. So all the individual stats don't mean much if we're not getting the win. So that's what I'm focused on right now. Do the, I mean, those obviously go hand in hand, though, too. You know, this fourth time, fifth time you guys have won for 400 or more, and you've won all those in blowouts. You know, how much, how, how important is that? And also, can you sense early in the game when it's going to be one of those days? Uh, it's extremely important. Um, you can kind of sense it, just whether the O line is really getting a good push up front. Um, but obviously, like we make halftime adjustments, and things can start happening at half as well. But I, I mean, at the end of the day, if the O line is making that big of holes, and we're we're being able to run the fullback, run the QB, run the tailbacks, and throw over the top to DC, uh, we'll be able to put up a lot of yards. And coach mentioned you were kind of a late recruit, even for Air Force. You know, as a maybe just as a running back. I don't know if, what he meant exactly by that. But when when did Air Force come into the radar for you? Um, I think I was offered like at, like middle of my junior season, or maybe before, and I committed before uh, before the, my senior season started. Okay, so it wasn't that late in the process then. I don't I don't know exactly, but okay. And then uh, this will be your last coming up, be the last in-state game. And I do have it right. You didn't have an offer from CU or CSU, right? No, sir. <clears throat> you take a lot of pride in what you've done in those games? Uh, I do. Um, just a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, our team has to come through and get the win. When did you get the diesel hat? Last night. Last night, huh? Sir. Was there a, a certain play they had pointed to that – prompted it they discussed the a couple of catches from last game where it took a couple of guys to take me down well before you had your touchdown you kind of opened the way on john lee eldridge's touchdown too i mean did, was that going through your head hey got the diesel out i better go <laughs> go earn it i mean that honestly that's just the standard you know if they trust to if they trust you to run into your side like that uh, and especially on a play where you know you really got to lock down the corner you know, you want, you want to take pride in that, and we do in the X room. So that's just what was going through my mind is, honestly, let me get this edge and hopefully give him a lane to run. And then to score against New Mexico, what's that mean for you? You know, and I, did you grow up there your whole life? or My whole life, yes, sir. What did that mean? I mean, it, it's amazing. Um, I'm glad I got the opportunity to. You know, I haven't been able to play against them yet. So this was my first time. So it's a nice way to go out. Did you grow up as a Lobos fan? I did. You know, I went to a couple games, basketball, football, stuff like that. All right. Yeah, and I mean, what, what's it like right now to play in this offense when it's rolling like this and with the defense getting <laughs> three and outs the way they are? You guys feel like you're kind of starting to peak a little bit? Our goal is honestly to just keep getting better. You know, we'll, we'll look at the film and figure out what we didn't do so well. But, you know, when we're running well, we're throwing it pretty well. That's kind of where we want to be. Um, but, you know, there's always room to grow. And were you recruited at all by New Mexico? Yes, sir, I was. And did you have an offer? I did. They were my first offer. What what led you to Air Force as opposed to staying home? I, I wanted to get out the state, uh, branch off a little bit. I mean, you know, Air Force's opportunities, they kind of they sold me on that. So was it hard, though, to turn down a team that, you know, right there that you'd followed? It would be nice to be, you know, the hometown hero playing your hometown state. But, you know, I was I was excited to reach out a little bit and get away. Cool. And, you know, as someone who plays with Hazik, you know, when you see him running like that, like, you know, what? <laughs> what do you think about his running style? And do you guys have any, you know, back and forth about that? Yeah, man, he, he really fires me up when, when he puts his head down and he runs hard. I mean, there's nothing better to see than him to go out there and put himself on the line, you know, because it's hard. And when he gets that first down and he's running hard, fires us up to look at him and, you know, because he's our leader on offense. Cool. Hey, appreciate you coming in. Appreciate you guys.